<coughs> Hi guys, as I film this video it is World Mental Health Day 2016 and so that feels like the right time or as good a time as any to make this video that I feel like I've been needing to make for a while. I've talked about mental health on this channel several times, I'll link to a playlist up here and usually talking about my mental health on my YouTube channel I'm used to it now and I don't find it much of an issue but lately I've been avoiding talking about it because it has felt for months like my mental health has been sliding further and further into the toilet. Some of you might know that I have kind of some of you might know that I struggle with anxiety and that I struggle with low mood and what I call OCD type tendencies where I wash my hands a lot, I shower a lot, I worry about germs constantly and I've been on medication for the best part of a couple of years if not a bit longer and I also have been in and out of therapy a couple of, well for most of my life I think my first bout with therapy was when I was about 10 or 11 and my most recent bout was a couple of years ago. In truth, I've known that things have been slipping for quite a while, but I haven't wanted to do anything about it because I was in such a steady and stable place for so long, and also because I have no idea why things are bad. But I just looked up one day and I was stood in the bathroom, like wet wiping my clothes while I was still wearing them because I was worried about germs, and I knew that. I had to do something and that I had to go back to the doctor and tell him how I was truly feeling. The thing is that for quite a while now, as much as I've been trying to fight it, I have felt like I am in pain all the time, even though there is no physical pain. And I can't remember the last time when I didn't feel like my brain was a little bit broken. I know all of this sounds really dramatic and really stupid and pathetic but that's just how I feel and I wrote a blog post about it the other day after I went back to the doctor I went earlier the, well I went last week and I wrote a blog post about it on my blog and that felt so much better and I've been meaning to make this video but actually finding the words to say all of these things out loud even though a lot of them are the same words I already used was just completely different like I admitted it to the doctor, I admitted the full extent of how I have been feeling, which I don't really want to, you know, go into mega amounts of detail on the internet for everyone to see, but I admitted it to the doctor and that was fine speaking aloud to him, but speaking aloud to other people, it just seemed too scary and it seemed too real and I didn't want to do it because I'm aware that this probably sounds so strange. For me, I think at the moment the hardest part has been, the hardest part of any day is physically getting dressed, which I know sounds so stupid, but when I do anything in pyjamas or anything in PJs, then I feel like everything is a bonus that I get done. Like if I get writing done, if I get work done, if I get anything done, it's a bonus because I'm in my pyjamas and that's fine and it's this little cocoon and it's this little safety thing but as soon as I put on normal clothes or everyday clothes I feel like I have to join society and then there's all this expectation of everything that I want to do when literally for the last couple of weeks all I've had the brain power to do, all I've had the emotional and mental energy to do is sit and binge watch Netflix pretty much. I haven't been writing, I've barely been reading, I haven't even really watched that many films, just short episodes of things on Netflix. And today I have succeeded in a sense. I am wearing a t-shirt, a normal everyday t-shirt, but I'm actually wearing my pyjama bottoms because my legs are really achy today and they don't feel like having tight skinny jeans on which I know again sounds weird but I think that's a bad CP day thing more than anything. When I saw the doctor he has doubled my dose of 
my antidepressant well of my tablet that I was on and I was expecting some totally horrible side effects because when I first started taking the tablets I felt really sick, I was really cold and shivery all the time and I couldn't stop sleeping and so far I actually haven't had that. I spent most of today asleep, I'm not going to lie, I've probably been awake, it's 4.30pm in the afternoon and I've probably been awake about four hours today on and off um, but I was feeling that bad anyway, all I was doing was sleeping before. Um, he's also given me a number to ring about going back for more CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, and he gave me that number almost a week ago now and I still haven't phoned it because at first I thought, do I really need this? Do I need to go for this therapy? And I didn't want to do it. And today I've realised that I, I definitely need to ring this number because I, I just don't want to, I don't want to feel like this anymore. I think a big part of how I feel right now is guilty and ashamed, I think, that I am, in a way, back here again, that I am really finding it difficult to do things again, like even if I make arrangements to go and see my friends or my family, like the anxiety that comes in even though I know them and it's really hard to get myself to turn up and I know that all of this sounds so silly and getting out of bed is just so, well, getting dressed, doing anything other than watching Netflix is so hard and I don't understand and I'm so upset that I'm back here again and I was doing so well and I have no idea what has caused this and I feel really bad but the doctor doesn't seem bothered that he doesn't know what's, that I don't know what's causing it the doctor was really understanding he was a new doctor and it was lovely and that I think is a big part of the reason why I have been away from this channel for so long why I haven't been updating my blog so much and <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I feel like I have said a lot and rambled a lot and I feel like I've said about as much as I should say or can say and need to say and I hope this makes sense to some of you and I hope that if some of you are feeling similar to how I do that you feel a bit less alone right now and thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.